Our first look at the body camera video of the night an officer shot an 11 year old boy in his own home. It was released after various Freedom of Information Act requests, including one from ABC News. The officer has been cleared of criminal wrongdoing and the boy survived, but the family is now seeking justice through a civil suit. Ike Jachi joins us now with details. Ike, good morning. Good morning, With This body camera video, which some people may find disturbing, shows the moment the officer involved pulled the trigger on 11-year-old Adarian Murray, shooting him in the chest. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. This morning, shocking new body camera footage showing 11-year-old Adarian Murray shot in the chest by a Mississippi police officer. Where is he at? I just was trying to tell her she called the police. Police! The shooting taking place last May, the unarmed 11-year-old telling ABC News an argument between his mother and her ex-boyfriend woke him. Then he dialed 911 after his mom told him to do so. What he told us next can be seen on the body camera footage. Take a look. You can see the officer approach the house before knocking on the door several times. Adarian's mom coming out first with her hands up. Where is he at? Then, the crucial moment, the officer stepping into the house, Adarian coming around the corner with his hand in the air. That's when the officer is seen pulling the trigger. Adarian was rushed to the hospital where doctors discovered the bullet collapsed his lung and lacerated his liver. ABC News speaking exclusively to Adarian after the incident, who described the moment he was shot. I came out doing this, it then, it then, um, when Greg shot me, I did this to my chest. It feels like a big punch to the chest. Sergeant Greg Capers, the officer involved, was suspended without pay. He told ABC's DeMarco Morgan that the shooting wasn't intentional. I hate that it happened because even I'm, I'm, I love kids. I've shed many tears, done everything I can to get this situation off of me. His attorney telling ABC News it's a complete surprise that the body camera was released, but some still raising questions about the policing tactics in this case. What this is really about is police training and a, a desire for citizens to want law enforcement to move away from a shoot first, ask questions later. Now, an attorney for Darian's mom said they welcome the body camera footage being released. She's filing a $5 million federal lawsuit against Capers in the city of Indianola, Mississippi, for her son's injuries and for excessive force. Now, a Mississippi grand jury has determined Sergeant Capers won't face any criminal charges. He's already been reinstated to the police department and says he's ready to get back to work. Gio? All right, I thank you so much for your reporting there. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.